रहमान रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टडीड द फीड फीडबैक बायसिंग अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द एन चैनल एनहांसमेंट टाइप मॉस्फेट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू एन एग्जांपल ऑन द फीडबैक बायसिंग अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एनहांसमेंट टाइप मॉस्फेट एंड दिस इज एग्जांपल नंबर 7.10 इन द बुक एज यू कैन सी हियर दैट द फीडबैक बायसिंग अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एनहांसमेंट ऑफ एन चैनल एनहांसमेंट टाइप मॉस्फेट इज गिवन एंड अलोंग विद सम गिवन वैल्यूज व्हिच आर व्हिच इज आईडी ऑन इज 6 मिली एंपियर VGS threshold is 3 volt and VGS on is on 8 volt and we are required to find the IDQ and VGS Q so basically we are required to find the Q point and Q point can be find can be found out by the intersection of the transfer characteristics are device characteristics and network characteristics are the load line characteristic so we need to plot the transfer characteristics and the network characteristics and find the common point and that will be our common point and this common point will have the x coordinate as vgs q and y coordinate as idq so to find the transfer characteristics of the n channel enhancement type mosfet we know that the transfer characteristics of n channel enhancement type mosfet is given by id is equal to k vgs minus vt whole square Our VGS T whole square. This VGS on on is also the sorry not this VGS on this VGS threshold is also my VT. So this has both names. It can be denoted by VT as well as the VGS threshold. So now this is my equation. Let me name it as equation number A. The only unknown in this equation is the K and K can be find out using the equation K is equal to I D on divided by VGS on. Minus VGS threshold or VT threshold whole square. So this this equation can be used to find the K, and we are we are going to put in the values. ID on is six milliampere, VGS on is eight volt, and VGS threshold is three. So we are going to put in values, and we are going to find the value of K. When we calculate this, the value of K is is found out to be zero point two four. Multiply by 10 raised to power minus 3 ampere per volt square. So this is my value of K, which is constant, and I am going to put this value here. So then we are going to get the equation I D is equal to 0.24 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 3 V G S minus V T. V T in this case is 3, so I can put in V T as well, and this is going to be my equation. So let me name it as Equation number one. So this is my equation number one. And now to find the transfer characteristics, let us first draw the transfer characteristics. And we know that transfer characteristics of the N channel enhancement type MOSFET can be found out by using four points. My first point was when VGS was equal to VT. In this case, VT is my three volt. ID was equal to zero. So one of the points in this case is three zero, and when VGS was equal to VGS on, we had ID is equal to ID on, and this VGS on and ID on has been given, and we can simply, if we can have a look, the VGS on and ID on has been given. So We we now have the second point also find out, and that is that VGS on is eight volt and ID on is six milliampere. So this is our second point, and for the third point, I need to select the VGS one in such a way that VGS one is greater than threshold the VT, but is less than the VGS on, and in this case the VT is three volt and and VGS one I am going to select and VGS on is eight volt. So I select VGS one as is equal to six volt. So what I am going to do is that I am going to put in the six volt in this equation. So we say that VGS one is equal to six volt, and I am going to put in in this equation, which is ID is equal to zero point two four multiplied by ten raised to power minus three. And in place of VGS, I am going to play. I am going to put VGS one, which is six, and so six minus three whole square. When we solve this. We get ID one is equal to two point one six milli ampere. So this is my third point, and my point number three is 
2.16 and 2.16 finally for the four point i need to select the vgs2 in such a way that it is greater than the vgs on vgs on is 8 volt so let me select the vgs2 is as 10 volt and again i need to put in in this equation and so i am going to put the vgs2 which is 10 volt in this equation and i am going to solve it when i solve it this comes out to be 11.76 milliampere so now we have point 4 also find out and the point 4 is when vgs is 10 volt i have the id2 as 11.76 milliampere so now we have all the four points find out this is my p1 this is p2 this is p3 this is p4 so let us plot the transfer characteristic curve so i can simply plot the transfer characteristic curve over here so by by taking the x axis and the y axis on the x axis we are going to have the vgs and on the y axis we are going to have the uh, drain current id so this is going to be my vgs and this is going to be my id now what i need to do is just, just to draw those points and my points for 30 so the first point is 30 and that will be our here for example so this is my first point which is p1 and the second point second point is my 86 so 86 this is 3 so 8 will be around here and 6 is going to be around here so this is going to be my second point not here the 8 volt is going to be around somewhere around here so this is going to be my point number 2 and for the point number 3 again I have 6 and 2.16 so 6 6 will be around somewhere around here so this is my here is my 6 volt this was my 8 volt this was 0.2 and this is a, my 6 uh, volt so this will be around and 2.16 will be around uh, 2.16 will be around somewhere around here and then finally we have 10 and 11.6 so 10 will be around here and 11.6 going to be somewhere around here so this is going to be my point number p uh it won't be like this it will be around uh yes it will be around here fine so then i'm going to join these points carefully join these points and i'm going to get the transfer characteristic curve like this so this is now my transfer characteristic curve because i'm not using uh the graph that is why some of the points i couldn't pass it through but anyway that's fine next is to find the network equation and i am going to go to the uh, and i am going to go up and find the network equation and if you remember the network equation was given as vgs is equal to vdd minus idrd so this to plot this equation i only need two points because this is the equation of straight line when vgs is equal to zero id is equal to vdd divided by rd and vdd in this case is going to be is is 12 volt so vdd is 12 volt and rd is 2 kilo ohm and we solve when we solve this this comes out to be 6 milliampere so now next is when id is equal to 0 we have vgs is equal to VDD and VDD is my 12 volt. So the next point is 0, sorry, 12 and 0 because VGS is 12. So my points, second point is 12 and 0. This is my first point and this is my first, this is my second point and this is my first point. So now first point, this is my second, the second point is 12 and 0. So 12 will be around somewhere around here let me remove this and and let me extend this to the 12 volt so 12 volt will be somewhere around here so this is going to be my first point which is 12 and 0 and the second point is 6 milliampere that will again be around 
here this is my 6 milliampere this will be VDD divided by RD which is 6 milliampere so I need to carefully join these two points and find the IDQ so now these two points have been joined and now I can easily find the intersecting of the two points and the two points intersect around here so this is my Q points and on the Y axis I am going to have the IDQ and the IDQ comes out to be 2.75 milliampere so this is 2.75 milliampere and on the X axis I am going to have the VGSQ which is somewhat greater than uh, 6 volts so this is actually 6.4 volt so the VGSQ is 6.4 volt so in this way we have find the IDQ and the VGSQ IDQ is 2.75 milliampere and the VGSQ is 6.4 volt so we have found out what was required which was IDQ and VGSQ and we found out plotting the transfer characteristic curve and then plotting the load line curve or the network characteristic curve and the common point gave us the IDQ and the VGSQ thank you